Hello YouTube, this is Kiran. Today I'm going to show you how you can download and install the new Windows Server 2012 which is available. First thing, go into Google and type in Windows Server 2012 and the first thing that you'll see is Microsoft Windows Server 2012. Click on it. Click on download the trial and if you go all the way down you can either download the ISO file or you can download the VHD file. I'm gonna download the ISO file. I'll click on get started now. I'll type in my Windows ID. If you don't have one you can create one. I'll click continue. Alright, there we go. Uh, now it's going to start the download manager and you can save the ISO file wherever you would like to save it. So I'll click save. I just want to save it on my desktop. It's around 3.4 GB so it will take some time depending on your internet speed. Alright, I'm going to pause this video. I'll come back when this download is complete. Alright, I have downloaded the ISO file. What I've done is I've created a virtual machine to test the new Windows Server 2012. I've created with the basic requirement for Windows Server 2012. For memory, you need 2 GB and one processor is good enough and the hard disk space you need 60 GB. Also I have selected the ISO file which I've downloaded from the Microsoft website and I'll click OK. Alright I'm gonna start up the virtual machine. Alright, there we go. So we have the new setup screen for Windows Server 2012. I'm going to select the language. I'm okay with English United States. For time and currency format, I'll select my country which is India. I'll click Next. I'll click install now. All right, as far as I know, uh, the setup process it looks very similar to the one which we have in Windows Server 2008 or Windows Vista or Windows 7 for that matter. All right, by default we have these versions. One is Windows Server 2012 Standard Evaluation Server Core and another one is the same version but with the GUI and the second one is Data Center Evaluation Server Core version and also we have Data Center Evaluation with GUI. I'm gonna select Data Center Evaluation which kind of gives you all server roles and features which says that all server roles and features are supported. As you know Windows Server 2012 is only 64-bit. You don't have a 32-bit version so you cannot install this on a 32-bit virtual machine or on a 32-bit physical machine. So you need to have a 64-bit processor running and I'll click the last option which is Windows Server 2012 Data Center Evaluation Server with a GUI x64. I'll click Next. I'll accept the license terms. I'll click Next. Alright, if you have an existing 
Windows 2008 Server or Windows Server 2008 R2 you can upgrade or if you just want to do a fresh installation you can just click on custom and one thing you want to make sure is before you install this on a physical machine or on a virtual machine which has an existing operating system and has some files in the hard drive just make sure you're backing up your data before you do this I have only one drive which is unallocated that's fine so I'll click next alright so now it's going to install the windows first it's going to copy windows file which is already done now it's going to get the files ready for installation then it will install the features update and then finally it's going to finish it up so it's going to take some time for all these things By the way, your computer will restart during the installation.
all right you can see that it has done installing the windows now it's going to restart after restarting the windows the setup will configure the windows And again, it's going to restart the PC after configuring the devices. All right, it's back at the setting screen. Uh, so we have to type a password for the built-in administrator account. All right, let's set the password. I'll click finish. And now it's going to finalize the settings. Alright, we are at the login screen. So this is the new login screen. It looks good. You can see the date and time which is quite bigger. 
and as always we have to press control alt delete and we'll type the password that we have set for the administrator account and it's going to apply the settings and now we should be able to see the Windows Server 2012 desktop alright there we go we have the new Windows Server 2012 and it does open up Server Manager at the startup. Alright, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, you can click like. And if you want to see more videos which are coming up, please click on subscribe. Thank you.